YouTube. So, um, I haven't recorded a video in like a long time. So I just decided to do a what's in my makeup bag. So, yeah, I'm just gonna tell y'all what's in my makeup bag or whatever. It's hair on me. So yeah, I'm just gonna tell y'all what's in my makeup bag. And um, yeah. So if you want a tutorial on this look that I have on my face right now, then um hmm, give this video a thumbs up and yeah like subscribe to my social media links and i'm gonna give out this look so yeah i got that out the way so i got this makeup bag from um where did i get this makeup bag from i got this makeup bag from forever 21 and it says excuse my broken nail but it says too sassy i know it i'm reading backwards so yeah so it just has one zipper and then on the back it has like all these like kissy marks, kiss marks or whatever. So in here, um, first item I put out is this face powder by Black Radiance. I just use this to set my face. It's a really good powder. It's broken though. But yeah, I like that powder. Then I got this, um, this primer by LA Pro la girl and i really like this primer a lot um then i have this la girl pro setting this stuff will have your makeup on like i think it's spilling but it will have your makeup on all day literally i love that then um i had a couple lip glosses in here so yeah i got this one this is by la colors this one is like um i don't know if you can tell but it's like a um who is this CL Biggo, like the Bath and Body Works brand. This is like a little random beauty supply one that I use for like the extra gloss girl. And this is the NYX Liquid Suede. So it's just that. And I had some brushes in here, which this brush isn't supposed to be in here. But this is the brush I use on my eyebrows. And also, if you want an eyebrow tutorial, thumbs this video up. Then I have this NYX uh, HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. Tongue twister. And this is the best concealer I've ever used. It's like just amazing um then i have this 3d face creator by ruby kisses i really like this this is really cute and it's cheap it's only 4.99 so it's a really good bargain um then i have this laced by black china this is her um what is this her loose translucent face powder this stuff is amazing especially for girls of color because like it doesn't leave like any flashback or whatever so it's like really i really like it and then i have my eyebrow pomade this is the anastasia beverly hills one it's a little on the pricey side i don't really remember what it was but i do remember spending a grip on it and i was kind of dreading it but it's in the shade chocolate and then I just have a concealer in here by um, LA Pro Conceal. I have my um, Kardashian line. This is the Kardashian line brow gel. You can't tell because it's all ripped off, but I really like that. And then I have this um, stick concealer by Black Radiance. I feel like I'm like speeding through this, but whatever. Um, then I have this LA Pro Conceal. This is another one. This is the one I use for under my eyes and my brows. And then I have another one, and this one is what I use to contour sometimes, but lately I've been using that, like, this little face creator palette, because I like it better. It's like, gives me warm tones. And then I have this NYC, oh, why do I always say that? This NY, this NYX, um, liquid illuminator. I use this under my makeup, like, when I want, like, a glowy effect, like, when I want it to, like, just be, like, voluminous. Yeah. Then I have, this is what I blend my eyebrows with. So for everybody asking, I use this to blend out my eyebrows. Like, this is what I use. And then I have just this mascara. I'm not a lash girl, but as you can tell, like, I have on lashes right now. They're, like, really, like, out there. But I don't, I have naturally long eyelashes, so, like, I don't need to wear them every day. So this is what I use. This is the NYC. This is actually NYC um, Sky Rise um, Lengthening Mascara. And this goes a long way i love it and this is why i used to highlight this is what i have on right now i don't know if you could still tell but yeah you can still tell but it's the color it's not even a highlighter it's an eyeshadow this is the color tattoo pure pigment in the shade barely brazen and there's like um it's like this i don't know if you could tell oh shit fail but yeah it's like a shaker 
type of thing like it grinds it like not grinds but it's like loose it's a loose pigment that's what i was trying to say i just cleaned my makeup bag out and already i'm getting stuff everywhere then i have the covergirl queen um cover correcting cream and this is just what i use when i run out of my foundation so i just keep that as a backup and then this is the nyx lingerie lip gloss well this is a cream lipstick in the shade um, baby doll I really like this this is really 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 cute and then I have like a nude little uh, eyeshadow primer I don't know if you can tell it's by Ulta it's really mattifying a lot excuse me then I have the highlighter that I actually use as a highlighter and this is the NYC um, skin finish in soft and gentle so it just looks like that I kind of hit pan on it but whatever then I just have like a random black eyeliner because I love black eyeliner. This is what I used to contour. This is the, um, it's something spilling in here. Oh my goodness. I don't know what it is, but let's wipe this off real quick. Okay, so yeah, this is the Black Radiance Pressed Powder in Ma Rich Mahogany. I just got like the darker shades of contour. Wait, I don't like literally like buy contour stuff unless it's like this, but like I usually just get something darker than me. This is what it looks like. So this is what I, Jesus, this is what I contour with. Okay, this is what I have my contour on fleek, okay? And if you want me to do a review on my hair, I will, but I'm going to talk about that at the end of this video. This is the foundation that I use. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation in the shade 335 Classic Tan. I really, really love this. It's really matte and really good for oily skin. So if you have oily skin, I really advise you to get that because it's really nice. And this, even though I just got this, this is like becoming my holy freaking grail. This is the NYX Angelville. I don't know if you can tell. The NYX Angelville Primer. This stuff is oil free, so it's good for like people with oily skin. But it literally, like, I have my makeup on since like five. It's four forty-six in the morning, but that's only because I had dance. But like, my makeup hasn't really, like, it hasn't budged. Like, even the little moles that I like put on to like, you know, give myself the extra boom effect. Like, nothing has went anywhere. My lashes, my brows, like, eyeshadow, nothing. Like, nothing has went anywhere. I love it. And then I have like some, this is what I use like for the pomade, just this little brush right there. And then this is the pencil that I usually use, it NYX Micro Pencil. I change my pencils a lot, so never ask me because I always change them. But this is the pencil that I use right now. This is just a random beauty supply pencil. It's by Color Mates. It's, I just use it to outline. And then I have this concealer by Maybelline in here. And that is all that is in here. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want a like a review on my hair, like a tutorial on my hair. Or, like, not a tutorial, a review, like I said. I will do that. Just make sure you give this video a thumbs up. This hair is really nice, though. Like, I like it. Like, I like it. I never really get body wave, so um, I like it. And it's kind of long. So, and it's not that long. It's kind of long. Whatever. But yeah. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and follow all my social media links. They'll be in the description down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye.